This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Have you ever wondered how you could learn and keep up to date about your asthma management outside of the physician's office or hospital? We're going to show you an application here in the United States that can make that happen right after this. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. Hi, Chris Montero here at CES 2014, and I'm here looking at the Air Sona. Is that right? Air? So the iSonia uh, is the company, and right. then we have our app, which is called Asthma Sense. Asthma Sense, and we're here in their booth. We're going to talk about how to how to manage your asthma and all of the things that are related around that. Because to me, I think asthma is a very preventable and treatable disease process, especially in kids and as we get older. But um, I think having your application. Um, um, really will allow people to, to learn more about their asthma and their triggers. So talk to us a little bit about that. Ed, you're joining us, and uh, thank you. You're from Australia, and um, tell us a little bit about your application and where that's from. Well, thanks, Chris. So uh, we're very excited this week. We have the app, the Asthma Sense app, which can allow anyone with asthma to monitor their triggers, their condition, their medications. It even has GPS data to pick up atmospheric information, weather, pollen counts. And with all of this, they can build a picture of what triggers their asthma, and what is, is helping them to manage it long term. So how does that, I mean, how does it know the pollen count? Is it just something that it's pulled down from the internet where I'm at? Yes, yeah, so our latest version of the app, which is iOS 7 engineered, has GPS capability. And so the app is pulling those data together and aggregating them. And then when you go and see your doctor, you can present them with a full picture on what's been going on when you're not there. In addition, although not available yet in the United States, but we do have a CE mark elsewhere, actually launching in Australia right now, we have our Sonia device, which takes a breathing measurement, and that will give you a percentage wheeze rate. And that's an objective measurement that you can share with your doctor. So instead of having to run to the emergency room, you can first share some objective data, and that's also captured over time. Asthma, unlike just about any other chronic condition, if you manage it properly, there is no reason why most people can't have a completely normal lifestyle and a completely normal life. And that's what this allows to happen. This really helps people manage the plans given to them by their doctors. Well, and so you, so the, the iOS app and you have something on Google as well and the Android devices, that's available today so I can track and do all of those things about tracking my asthma management. But this actually listens and hears that breathing. So kind of walk me through how, um, say I'm a concerned parent, I call my physician, I'm like, my, my kid's having an asthma attack. Walk me through how how this device will help. You bet. So let's paint two scenarios. Scenario one is you don't have this. Your child you think having is having an asthma attack. You call the doctor. The doctor says, how bad is it? Well, I'm a parent. Anything's bad. So you say it's very bad. The doctor really only has one choice, and that's say, go to the emergency room. It's not good for you as a parent, for your child, for our healthcare system, especially when it's unnecessary. With this capability, you can make the same phone call and give the doctor an objective data measurement and even send them a sound file. The doctor can listen to that and say, well, why don't you try some medication, take another reading in 10 minutes, call me back, and let's see where we stand. It may be a genuine need to go to the emergency room. That's great. That's needed. But it may not be, and in many cases it isn't. And then a lot of stress, a lot of pain, a lot of expense on the system is all avoided, and the asthma is appropriately managed. So you said there's something called the wheeze rate. Is that, I don't know, that's hard to say. Yes. But um, so how does that, how's that calculated? Is it some kind of, is it, is it medically sound? Or how, how do I find out what my wheeze rate is? Sure. So uh, a wheeze rate is uh, a term that's been used in the clinic community for many years. It's uh, reflective of airway constriction uh, and this is the first device that allows you to take that rate accurately outside of the clinical setting. So that's, that's the key. Because um, I'm a paramedic so when we listen to people's lung sounds I'm like oh they're wheezing I'm gonna fix that but but to actually have something that clinically tells us how that how that fits is amazing. I, I love this device and so you're in FDA process now. So there's, there's some time. Sure, it's going to be coming. Yes. Yeah, so the app's available today, uh, both uh, Google Play and iTunes, and we encourage everyone to get hold of that. That alone will help. Uh, the device uh, that goes along with the app, we're in active conversations, we'll follow the process, and we'll be really excited to bring it to the United States.
We'll get back into that video to see more about this product. But first, I want to let you know about Gazelle, our sponsor. You know, Gazelle is a great way to get rid of all those devices you have rattling around in that drawer in your house. You have one, I have one, I know. Now, I've used Gazelle before. In fact, every time I upgrade my phone, I figure out what my old phone is worth on Gazelle first. You can find out more about how to do this by going over to tpn.tv slash cash. Get cash for your old devices. Head over and check out Gazelle. It's easy to use. They send you a box so it's free shipping included and you get cash for your old phone, your old tablet, even your old computers. Go to tpn.tv slash cash to find out more about Gazelle and get cash for your stuff. What you told me earlier, and what I find very fascinating, is this actually is an FDA device, and I think mm -hmm. that to me tells me that there's a lot of protection behind it, and that um, that you've gone through a lot of approval process. So, is how what's the price point on the application, the actual app itself? So right now it's a free download. When it's fully up and running, there'll be a small monthly fee. It'll be less than you pay for your newspaper on your iPad or anything like that. Considering what it provides, that's great. And then the device will price closer to market, but honestly, it'll be pretty much in line with a lot of the wearables you see around here at CES, which considering that this is a regulated medical device, we think is very appropriate. We just want to get this to as many asthmatics and concerned parents as we possibly can. We think we can have a meaningful impact on the management of the condition. Uh, we think we can help the medical community do the job that they're doing, which is remarkable, and uh, all of us can, can live a full life, and that's the key here. Very cool. Ed, thank you so much. That, thank you, Chris. That's a great product, and um, we're going to find more other awesome products here at the Digital Health Summit here at CES 2014, and uh, go find this app. It's very cool if you have asthma. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network.